I'm a bikini competitor, so I lift stuff, I put them back down. Hey guys, welcome to MTL Blurb. My name is Natasha Victoria. You know, I always talk to people and they're like, oh, I can't believe you did that. Like, I don't think I could do that. And I felt like I couldn't do it. One day I woke up in the morning and I was like, I'm just gonna shut up and I'm gonna do it. I ate horse meat for fucking breakfast with half an avocado and five almonds. But now summer is here and I'm kind of down and get fucked up all the time. Ugh. So I guess life is about finding that balance. I'm gonna teach you how to get lit and stay fit this summer. Enter the Montreal workout, motherfuckers. Oh my God, that was awful. Let's do it again. As with any great workout, you need a warm up. So here in Montreal, this is how it's done. Find somebody that you find attractive on the street, take them to your apartment and just bang the shit out of them. But it's gotta be quick. In and out, five minutes tops. Remember, it's just a warm up. Don't get too fucking excited. Woo, now that we're all warmed up, you got your fuck on. If you're like me and it's a Wednesday, today is upper body. We all know you have chicken arms, so it's time to work them out. The Montreal workout dictates that you head to the nearest step enter, buy a 2-4 and curl that bitch. If you're ghetto, just cop 240s. So now that we did upper body, you're pumped, you're vascular, it's time to move on. Lower body. I know you don't like to do squats, but you gotta do them or else you look like a fucking idiot. So this is how we do squats Montreal style. You infiltrate City Hall, find Denny Coderre, you hoist him up on your back, you stop being a little bitch, and you squat that chubby motherfucker. I've done the math. It's like the equivalent of three plates. If that's not enough for you, you buff, buff, motherfucker. It's not a problem. You find Justin Trudeau and you hoist him up as well. But be careful he doesn't elbow you. If you've made it this far, which I hope you have, because if not, you're a little bitch, it's time for Tam Tam abs. You're gonna wanna buy yourself some dank ass weed. Head over to the mountain with your favorite hula hoop. Wait a second, who am I kidding? You're not gonna buy your own weed. So now you're high, you're on a mountain, you have a hula hoop, there's good music, and all you gotta do is twirl that shit around. Swerve on it. But you gotta remember you gotta contract your obliques the whole way through, or else this workout just is not effective. So now you're high as fuck. Throw down your favorite blanket and put in some fucking work. You want to whip out some of these. Ugh, oh my God. Chances are you're gonna be so fucking high that you're not gonna give a shit that you look like an idiot. I look like a fucking squid. Extra points if you can multitask. Oh my God, I'm gonna fall off. All right, so it's time for that final push. D-Day. My favorite place to do cardio is Picnic Electronic. But if you're a complete fucking douchebag, you're gonna go to Beach Club. You're moving, you're shaking, you're swapping sweat with other sexy motherfuckers. Don't forget to hydrate. Oh, shout out to all my douchebags on Crescent and all my hipsters on Saint Laurent. Apartment 200, I'm talking to you. All right guys, so you've made it to the end of the Montreal workout. To be honest, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. You're no longer a little bitch. To be honest with you, I feel fucking fantastic about myself. Probably because I took four shots, but also because I just worked four months really hard on my body and I just busted out a bikini competition and I won third place. A lot of people say if you're not first, you lose, but I think I'm a motherfucking winner in life right now. I want you guys to remember that it's super important to keep some balance in your life. When you're true to who you are as a human being and you have respect and love for all the things and beings around us, that is when you're at your sexiest. So let go of your ego, live from your heart, and spread that joy and that love with everybody around you. My name is Natasha Victoria, and I'm so happy to have met you here on MTL Blurb. I'm so tired. <laughs> this was exhausting. TPD. <laughs> <laughs>